Naruto Spoon, Ultimate Ninstone 2 Robot. Hey players, this is Fraza, and I'm back with more Naruto Spoon, Ultimate Ninstone 2 Roblox. And I'm going to be using Gara today, um, or for now anyway. Um, yeah, a uh, very defensive character, but also offensive. Um, I guess you could classify it as counter because his B is a shield, um, which is it's quite powerful. It's not just like a shield; it does sort of quite a lot of damage too. So it's good for like if somebody like runs into you with a Senga and they're going to take a lot of damage, unless it's like Jiraiya's, of course. Um, his Zeds will like trip people and stuff, and can also be used um, tactically, or can just run around them and set like loads of them so that they can't really move. His X is kind of like a long ranged counter, so that um, it wouldn't be a counter, it would normally be an attack, but because it like freezes him for a second, I classify it as a counter attack. Um, it's quite powerful. You can keep hitting him by walking back and forth. Unfortunately, I couldn't get the angle down, so it doesn't angle, it doesn't, like, the angle doesn't change. I um, tried that quite a few times, but no luck. Um, his ultimate is Sand Coffin, which is purely offensive. Um, but I guess they can run into it too, so. And it's quite um, long range, so. Um, if I had to classify Gara, I would can classify him as um, medium range defensive counter. Um, <laughs> thought the, the toad was going to freak out and kill me there. Sometimes when you kill people while they're on a summon. The summon will like, freak out and kill you. Um, it's not so bad with like frogs and stuff, but if they have Susanna and you kill them, like sometimes Susanna can do, like ten front flips and drop kick hands. <laughs> um, it's really funny to watch. Oh, where is everyone? Oh, there's um, is that Jiraiya? Yeah. Have you mean to like game case the power of Jiraiya's massive Rasengan? Because uh, it's kind of slowish and it's not that easy to hit with. Um, because it's like massive and obvious and. Um, and also they bla it blasts you away quite a lot, so I think it should do like a lot more damage than it does. Stop blocking, noob. Die. Oh, oh good, he took the Genjutsu hit. Is this guy taking my... Damn, I missed. I oh, wait, oh, I didn't hit this. Still alive, we'll take some of this sand tsunami. And again. Jedi is probably charging a massive Rasengan behind me, but... Oh, no. I'll use Shield of Sand then. <laughs> shield of Sand is really good defense jutsu. Um, stop that toad right in its tracks. <laughs> ah, good luck with blocking well in a frog. This is, I mean, like, look, in this case it's flying upwards, but... Oh, Shadow Stitching, I'll just block it. <laughs> He's in the water anyway, so only like half of them can hit me to begin with. I'll just um, lay uh, around some uh, sand burials and. Oh, gotta block this. Shikimaru, um, all of his jutsu are blockable, but um, at the same time they hold you in place, so. Uh, if he uses B Shuriken afterwards, it can trip you, stopping you from blocking, so. That's uh, the danger of it. But only if it hits you in the legs. Like, I'll let you do that again. Yeah, she came in, I was kind of annoying for a while of shadow stitching, so after the nerf, it's not really been a problem. It's still powerful, don't get me wrong, uh, but it's not so powerful that she came is um, every second character. One thing people don't seem to know is that um, Sand Coffin is um, easy to block. <coughs> you just hold R and that's it. Um, <coughs> You can't block um, Gara's Z and X, but you can block his um, B and C. Well, if you have time to block a sand shield, you would probably get with the collision of it, <laughs> um, since it's defense technique, primarily. Oh, here's the Orochimaru. Uh, the other day I made it so that the uh, Orochimaru's defense snake uh, lasts 10 seconds of the, instead of 6, um, which is interesting. So it's um, kind of tactical instead of just defensive now, um, because you can only like a few of them around and then throw your opponent into them. And I'm going to lay out some sand shields, the burials, so that Sasuke will fall on top of them. And what's this Daydara doing? Oh, stupid. I was going to block it, but the substitute threw me as I get hit by the. That was quite a nice way to die. It reminds me of the actual game runs too for the Xbox or PS3. 
um, where if your team meter gets high, um, then you can um, be thrown uh, by your support character and back towards you. So it's kind of like that because the substitute threw me into the bomb. Uh, who haven't I been actually? Um, I'll just get off the second page. I want to like, do some crazy. Oh wait, do I even have enough? Do I have the VIP pass? No, I don't have it in this yet. Um, I'll go keep up for now until I get another KO or so. I need two more KOs. Then I'll go in Akatsuki. I will go Toby. I've done some changes to Toby recently. Um, so yeah, he's pretty good. I still need to make a few tiny changes um, because his ultimate, it, the, the reaction to it, um, his God, the ultimate script uh, works a lot better now. So uh, the detection's much better. So um, it doesn't require like any time to actually cast. So I should make it last like only like one second or something. Um, or remove it after it hits because I've noticed that um, you use it and it hits instantly but then you're left there standing with the um, disabled warp for like 3 seconds which is stupid. Um, you might have noticed with some characters that uh, after their jutsu they can charge immediately um, and others they have to wait like for the rest of the remainder of the time. For example, look at Rasengan could last 3.5 seconds and some characters, well not for Rasengan but um, some characters they could use Rasengan and instantly be able, be able to charge like Naruto and Minato. But then other characters they could use like um, a melee jutsu and then they would have to wait till the 3 seconds is up even after hitting. Um, which makes them more annoying, uh, well the former more annoying because they can like hit you then start charging immediately. Um, it only applies to melee jutsu. Oh here comes Rock Lee but unfortunately Rock Lee is like the worst character to use in Skiba. Uh, I mean what could you possibly do? <laughs> Oh no, I'm going to get thrown. Uh, well, you can't throw Sugan, pal, so. Yeah, Rock Lee is like really weak against uh, Kiba. <laughs> ah, probably. And then he's probably going to run up all of a sudden, and then I'll use B Shuriken and Giant Sugan. <laughs> Damn jump. Come on, I can get a defensive Sugan in. Oh, nice! It broke through. I'm pretty proud of that Lotus move. Um, it's cause like Lee's Lotus was like really glitchy. Um, it's like this weird Roblox glitch where if you kill somebody while you're welded together, you die. But it doesn't always happen. It just happens randomly, and it never happens in build mode. So it's just Roblox's fault. <laughs> Am I supposed to fix it if I don't know how it's caused? Um, Come on, die. Oh, somehow he's doing a dynamic entry, but through. Oh god. I just need to get like one more HP. Yeah. Oh, that was so close. <coughs> Come on, I just need to finish him off here. Yes. Oh god, you've still got a wee bit of health. Oh, what happened there? Good fight. That was actually really, really fun. I enjoyed that. And I think that was my sixth game. Well, thanks for watching. Please comment and rate the video if you enjoyed it. Goodbye, players.